what are the indicators of asset impairment so uh, how do you trigger valuation of an asset to test it for impairment there can be many reasons and the list of such reasons can be absolutely never ending but we have to understand uh, the broad theme behind these reasons that will lead us to come to a conclusion that there is a, a likely impairment uh, in case of certain assets so what are those uh, indicators of asset impairment number 1 it is decline in the market value of similar assets number 2 sub optimal demand for the goods produced number 3 changes in the technological market economic or legal environment adversely affecting the entity can is also an indicator of uh, likely impairment uh, in case of an asset number 4 evidence of obsolescence of physical damage to agar koi asset physical damage ho gayi hai to apparently there is a case for uh, testing uh, for testing uh, for the loss impairment loss or in case of obsolescence yani ki wo top technology purani ho gayi hai to uh, that is also uh, evidence of indicator of uh, asset uh, impairment in such cases number 5 plant plans to discontinue restructure operations so Uh, in case if a company is uh, uh, modernizing uh, the the plant and the operations and as a result of modernization uh, some of the assets may no longer be required even though they may be useful but they may not really be requ- required or they may be required for limited purposes so in such cases also these are the indicator of there being an impairment loss uh, number 6 evidence from internal reporting so uh, you know the the in the, all the companies across the globe will have a system of internal reporting and it is possible that uh, uh, in the event of internal reporting uh, the plant head or the production head or the technical head uh, they may in their internal document documents that they report that they prepare uh, they may document uh, based on their observations or the inspections of different assets they may notice that this comp- this asset is no longer going to be value valuable or this asset is going to be less valuable than what its carrying amount is so uh, such uh, a reporting in the internal reporting uh, can also be a very good indicator for an asset to be tested for impairment and uh, seventh is increased rate of interest or other rates of return on investment and that can also be an indicator for the purpose of uh, determining Uh, that there is a likely impairment in case of certain assets so whenever uh, all these seven points that we have discussed or points which are similar to these seven points that we have discussed if you in your company notices anything of this kind that gives you an idea as to there may be impairment of a particular asset and that is where you need to make note of it and do the impairment testing of that particular asset